Welcome to this practice to connect you with your heart uterus meridian. This will be helpful for you if you are experiencing any struggles with your menstrual cycle, whether that is perimenopause, maybe you're experiencing hot flushes, or maybe you are having dysmenorrhea, amenorrhea, your period is irregular or it's stopped completely. Or it's simply if you're having some struggles with fertility and you're feeling really experiencing a tough time with regards to your womanhood. This short seated practice will connect you to reconnect with your sense of your source power. So let's start in a comfortable seated position towards the last one third of your chair. So we want to avoid collapsing back into the chair, but instead to really come to sit on your sit bones. Spread your toes and begin to lift your toes off the ground so you draw from the rainbow arches of your feet. Underneath the arches of your feet, you can find the two acupressure points, Yongquan, the bubbling spring, kidney one meridian point. Imagine you're drawing the energy from the earth. So we'll do one small movement, breathe in, lift the toes as you gather this energy up, spread the toes and then let your toes once again ground. Two more times, breathing in, imagine you're lifting the toes, not sure if you can see, lifting the toes up and then exhale, whew, reconnect them with the earth. One last time, deep breath in. And exhale, really begin to settle back into the feeling of being supported. Now that you feel the earth, we're going to come into today's short practice. Begin to empty your past, empty your future. We bring both of your hands together in the center, symbolizing your commitment and your intention to be here in the gift of your present moment. Take a deep breath in here. As you breathe out, send this diamond in front of your heart all the way down from your heart in through your source, your yoni, and inhale, we bring it back to your heart. Let's try this two more times. Deep breath in, long breath out, connecting with your heart, uterus, meridian, and inhale back to heart. One last time this way, deep breath in, long breath out, send the breath down into the root, the source of your being, and inhale back to heart. You're welcome to stay with this variation. For the next variation, if you'd like to, you can also widen your feet, coming into almost a goddess stance, like seated position. Take a deep breath in. This time, breathe out, send the breath down into the root, the source of your being, and maybe even reach even lower. Let the palms come as low as it feels good for you. Sweep the diamond forward, up through the sky, as high as it feels good for you. And as you look up through that diamond, begin to release your four fingers, connect the thumbs, connect the little fingers, form a lotus above you from this lotus, draw it down, let the lotus bear fruit connecting your fingers from this lotus, begin to harvest and you plant this seed in your heart so that you may begin to continue the next cycle of growth. Two more rounds, deep breath in, long breath out, send the breath down into the root, the source of your being. Maybe you ground your energy, maybe you touch the earth, maybe not. Sweep up, look up through the heavens, connecting with the possibilities. Let the lotus rise from the mud, let this lotus descend, let it flower, blossom, bear fruit, and let this fruit be tasted, let the seed be harvested and planted in the fertile soil of your heart. Last round, send the breath down to the root, the source of your being. Maybe you even touch the earth and ground your energy. Sweep the palms forward, reach them all the way up towards the heavens. As you exhale, let this energy be received by you by your heart. We'll try one last variation. You can stay with any of the previous variations. Deep breath in, 
Long breath out, send the breath down to the root, the source of your being. Sweep the palms up. This time, release the fingers, connect the thumbs and your little fingers and release the three fingers in the middle. Start to begin to feel yourself swimming in the currents of life and let your fingers, let your arms, your heart begin to guide you as you sway and flow with the currents of life. At the end, reconnecting with your yoni, your source power. Last two times, deep breath in, long breath out, send the breath down to the root, the source of your being. Sweep the palms up. If you'd like to, you can swim in the ocean of love and the currents around you. Returning into your source power. Let's try this one last time. So we're going to take a breath in, send the breath down to the root, the source of your being. Sweep the palms up and swim in the ocean, the currents of love until you gently and slowly return into your yoni, your source power. From here, Place one hand on your yoni, doesn't matter which, the other palm on your heart. And if it feels good for you, you can half or fully close your eyes. Acknowledging how you feel. Acknowledging any resistance. Acknowledging the greater container of holding that is supporting you. Exhale and let yourself drop deeper and be held by this container, be held by the earth herself. Feel that within you is a world, the womb as world, world as womb. And now slowly and gently, if your eyes are closed, let your eyes blink open. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. You're welcome to revisit this practice anytime you feel like you need some nourishment, a greater container of holding or reconnection with your womanhood in a loving and compassionate way. I hope you enjoyed this practice as much as I enjoyed facilitating and also practicing this on my own time. And looking forward to seeing you in another video.